Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So now I am on to, I have an empties haul. Finally, I have enough stuff to share. I feel like in an empties and I remember to save stuff. So I've got some beauty kind of related, mostly beauty related stuff really. And like some like bath kind of care stuff, I guess. So I don't really have it in any order. I'll just start pulling stuff out and share it with you. Um, first thing is this Calgan Ageless Bath Nourishing Milk Bath. I love this stuff. It's a bubble bath. It smells really, really good. It just is like, I can't describe it. It's just a nice, clean scent. Um, and it's, I don't know what is in it, but it's so, so good. And I love adding this to bubble bath. And I put it a lot, and there's like little micro beads in it. Um, or Vita Pearl beads, I guess is what it's called. But you can't get this everywhere for some reason where they have Calgon. They don't like have it every single place. I can get it here at Meyer that's closest to me and normally Walmart has it but the Walmart that's across the street from Meyer doesn't have it it's weird but this is about five dollars for this big big bottle and it's 26 ounces so it lasts quite a while but I like to put a lot of bubble bath in there so I love that um also I've got from Dollar Tree I've got this relief foot soak it's spearmint and menthol scented um Epsom salt so I work um on the weekends I, I work at a bakery and I don't bake anymore um except on the weekends I will still help out and I will bake and I don't have the greatest shoes we don't have mats and stuff I just don't have the best shoes and I don't since I only do it once a week um I don't want to go out and spend a bunch of money on like crazy really really good shoes so usually this is what I treat myself with Saturday afternoons once I get off I will soak my feet and I just use, and I think I've talked about this before, but I just picked up from Dollar Tree. This is just one of the dish pans, these white plastic dish pans, and it's the perfect size. It's dirty, I have to wash it right now, but it's the perfect size. I just put some hot water in the bottom of this. I can fill in my sink, and then I just put like, it says, I think I can't remember how much it says to put in there. It says one to two cups, but I usually will split this bag this will last me about a month like I'll, i won't do a ton of it and i just soak my feet for about 10 to 15 minutes and it i'm amazed how much better i feel so this is they have something like this at the dollar tree pretty frequently not always the spearmint and menthol i might not get that one again i might just get regular epsom salt but i really liked that um okay dollar tree we all keep trying to find dollar tree stuff um i finished one of these salon selectives three minute hair therapies these are really nice. This is the regular one um, with argan oil. I'm trying the other one now with the red packaging on the top that's for if you dye your hair. But this stuff is really nice. I don't know why I'm showing this. It's empty. But um, this one smells more perfumey than the other one. I like the scent of the other one better. Um, I have only used it once or twice. But this is a little 6 ounce container. It's a really thick conditioner. And I usually just kind of put that in my hair in the shower. And then like I'll do other stuff. You know wash the rest of myself or whatever. And then rinse this out. And it does leave it really really nice and soft. And I usually do that like once to twice. Maybe three times a week at most. Um, let me see here. I'm not seeing any other Dollar Tree stuff necessarily. Um, some of these things are like not necessarily empty, um, but there were just some things that I tried and didn't like. Um, like the, well, this is empty though. I'll show you. So I just went through some of the Assured brand cotton rounds and I really like this. 80 of these in here and these last me for a while. I use these mostly for eye makeup removal and then, um, Nail polish removal. Mostly nail polish removal, though, is what I use that for. But what this... Oh, this is something I got from Dollar Tree that I tried and I just didn't care for. And it is the soft and dry... It's a clear deodorant. It's a solid, though. And it's just... It's just really hard. And it was like... It would never... It just hurt to put on because it was, like, so dried out, I felt like. So that's going in the garbage because it just did nothing for me. Um, maybe that was the only thing that I got that I didn't like from Dollar Tree. I think else I think I well anyways um I went through and we have hard water so don't mind the stains. Um one of these pure silk raspberry mist moisturizing shave gels and I've repurchased the since and I will continue to um because for a dollar it, it lasts me a really long time because I don't always even always use sh shave gel excuse me sometimes I'll just use soap and water and it's fine. I mean I have a nicer razor so with a moisturizing strip in it and so it's fine. Um 
I didn't know I'd be on my Dollar Tree stuff, so I'll just keep going. I have on my nails now, and I need to take them off because they're starting to chip, but this I got last year or two years ago at a CVS Beauty Clearance sale, and it's one of the Sally Hansen's Salon Instant Gel Strips in the, in the French Manny, and it was 75% off. And this is Ballet Parfait. So it's so simple. Um, you have to have a LED light, which I do. Um, but you just put on the color, which is, I think, Ballet Parfait. The, that nail strip. Then you go through, and there's just little, like, half moon shapes um, f to do the French tip, which I did a little too wide for my liking, but it's fine. And then you put on the top coat, and then you cure it, and then wipe it, and you're done. So it's a this is takes a little long to do, longer than just if you were doing one color. However, it takes so much less time if I were trying to paint this on. And it's so much easier and looks a lot straighter than if I tried to just do it myself. Um, this is in no order. So um, we went through finally this Listerine Zero... Um, the less alcohol, so it's not as in less intense zero alcohol um, mouthwash. I like the kind with no alcohol because it isn't. It doesn't just. It just like feels like it's burning. Like it, sometimes it's too intense. Um, and I went through this clear scalp and hair beauty therapy um, nourishing daily conditioner. This was okay. Um, I liked it. And I think I had gotten it on a coupon deal, maybe. And that's why I had some of this to try. It was okay. I mean, my hair was clean and soft, so whatever. Um, I used up one of my favorite, favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. And it's old packaging. I picked this up a few years ago on a semi-annual sale. And they don't make it anymore. And I love it so much. But it is the Capri Seaside Citrus. It has top notes of Mediterranean grapefruit, sparkling bergamot, bergamot. Juicy Nectarine, um, Orange Flower, Coconut, Amber Driftwood, Creamy Musk, and Whipped Vanilla. And it smells so, so refreshing and just so good. And I just, I wish that they still had this and they don't. Um, hopefully, I will try to find some more at this semi-annual sale and see, but and I will scoop up whatever shower gel I can. I have like a little bit of a lotion left of this too, but I finally just used it up. Um, another bath kind of item. This was a gift, and these are just Freesia bath pearls. I think that you can get these at World Market, but this was a birthday gift from someone, and they were very nice. Um, oh gosh. Here's another item that I used, and, well, I guess I did, no, there's a little bit in here, but I don't, I just, I just need to move on. I picked this up at Marshall's, but it's by Kiss My Face, and it's a natural liquid rock. Um, it's an aluminum, aluminum, aluminum and paraben-free deodorant and it's a liquid um it says it's supposed to last all day so it's a little roller ball and it smells okay it is cucumber green tea scented i just i don't know i just had to move on and there's just a tiny little bit left it just wasn't coming out so i moved on and i'm trying this right now and i'll let you guys know what i think of it but this is i picked this up at tj maxx and it is the Crystal Essence Mineral Deodorant Body Spray Lavender and White Tea it smells really nice um just like a relaxing smell, honestly. The lavender and white tea smells so nice. So I think I've talked about before, and this is TMI. I get infected sweat glands, and I just have sensitive skin. So deodorant for me can be a challenge. Um, but this has no aluminum in it. It's hypoallergenic and paraben-free. Oops. And I had like the little, here's the little crystal. So it's the same brand of stuff. And I found this all at TJ Maxx. This one was $2.99 there, and this was $3.99 for the spray. So I've been using this, and I like it, but it's just weird. So this is just a rock. It's just a crystal. Um, there's nothing on it at all. What you do is you wet this, and then you rub it under your arms, and it creates... Um, Oh, it says on here. It's a natural mineral salt which eliminates body odor by leaving an invisible protective barrier against odor-causing bacteria. So, I've been using this, it, and I think it works. I mean, I don't feel like I stink. It's just the weirdest concept because you're like, it's a rock. I'm getting it wet, and I'm putting it on, and you can't. It's just different than, like, normal deodorant that you would use. You know, you can't see it. or And this has, like, no scent to it, which I really like as well. But I wanted to try the spray and see if I liked it a little bit better. Um, so it's just got purified water, potassium, alum, which is natural mineral salts, and natural fragrance made with essential oils and extracts. And that's kind of it for this. So if I like it, I probably will just keep, if I see it again at TJ Maxx, I'll keep getting it. Otherwise, they do have a website um, and it is thecrystal.com. So if you're interested in some more natural kind of 
um, ways. I mean, I do like this a lot. Like I said, there's no fragrance to it. It's just a weird thing to get used to. And I like it. I don't think I stink at the end of the day. I don't, I feel like I don't have a ton of, I sweat, but I don't sweat as much as some people, I guess. Like I don't have come home with like pit stains in my shirts a lot. And I don't want to say, like, I don't stink, but, like, I don't have tons of body odor. Like, armpit body odor, if that makes sense. I don't think. Because um, I've gone before and not worn any deodorant. And I, depending on how sweaty I was, I don't think I smelled terribly. But, I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, it says it prevents body odor for 24 hours and safe for the environment and all that jazz. So, if you're interested in those things, let me know in the comments below if you would like a more in-depth review of it um, or more information about it because I've just started using the spray and I, I like it so far. Okay, moving on because there was a lot about that. Um, I finally went through this um, from Victoria's Secret, the So Sexy Style. This is their Hold and Finish Hairspray. I, I love the smell of this so much. It's just, it's like perfume for your hair. Like, it's just a sexy smell. My husband... However, hates it. These are like $14. Uh, although they have like deals a lot of times where you can buy two, get one free or buy two, get two free or something like that. And I think I had a coupon or something. So I had this and I still have a like detangler spray that I really like of the same scent. So, but I have this for a long time. I don't go through hairspray very fast. And the next hairspray I have is this giant giant trust me that it will take me a really long time to get through I just don't wear it a lot I wear my hair naturally most of the time or just up so I don't wear a ton of hairspray very often unless I do it which I don't do it a lot so it takes me a long time to get through but needless to say this is really nice it does hold and it smells really really good um just a sexy smell um another hair product is this just little travel Pantene um pro v Blowout Extend Dry Shampoo. This was sent to me to sample. I can't remember for what, but I liked it. Um, the scent of it is okay. I can smell like there's nothing coming out but just air. Um, I mean, it smells okay, and I think it did its job. I actually think I kind of liked this more than some other ones I've tried where, like, you leave it really powdery or, like, sticky. So, I mean, this worked, but... I mean, I don't know. There's some that I, dry shampoos that I like better than that. Um, let's see. Oh, two little perfumes I finally kind of went through. This little um, Smackers Tokyo Treats that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. It smells really good. Just like a sweet candy kind of smell. And I thought the packaging was so cute. But I finally used that up. And then this little tiny um, travel little guy from Bath & Body. And it's the Amber Blush scent, which I... I still really like it. It's like raspberry musky scent to it. Um, okay. I'm trying to get all my makeup things kind of together. I've got some makeup stuff. I'm really I'm proud of myself for getting through some stuff. And I've got one over here as well. Um, I've got one little hand, lo hand mini hand cream. Sorry. Um, this is the pink chiffon set from Bath and Body Works. And these are just the little two ounce sizes. Ugh, it smells so good. I love the pink chiffon one. Um, and then I just like to keep these usually kind of either with my makeup or next to my bed just to put on at night. And I like their hand creams. It's so thick, much thicker. And I just feel like it gets better into my skin. Um, this is a toothbrush that I picked up a while ago at Five Below. And it's really cute. And it's um, battery powered, little mechanical one. It's just, it was I think $3 for it. And I loved having it just sit in the bathroom because it's such a pretty little pattern. The thing of it was this thing, you put it back in here to, in the has holes in the top. But like, I just feel like it's just dirty and it just needs to go. Um, and I probably could just get a replacement head for it. But I'm just going to stick with my good old Dollar Tree <laughs> cheapy toothbrushes, I think. Um, I've got two little, so the rest of this is kind of makeup stuff. So I've got two little samples. These are from Urban Decay. These are their, I got a four pack sample of their different eyeshadow primers with my Naked 3 palette, I think. So this was the anti-aging and this was the original one. And I think I also had the Sin one, but I think I threw that one away, which I really loved the Sin version. The original is fine. It's just kind of this, and these are so gross looking, um, this kind of nude color. The anti-aging I didn't really care for just because, I don't know, I just didn't need it necessarily. So getting rid of that. Um, this is empty, finally. This Maybelline Baby Skin. Um, it's a 
just a face primer and it's a silicone base. And I really actually like this. This is really similar. Oh, there was one little squirt in there. Um, but I guess I can show you then. It's just like a clear silicone. So it feels nice when you rub it in. It's supposed to be a pore minimizer or instant pore eraser is what it says. I don't know if it did all of that. I usually tend to have my pores that are like that show or in this area in my nose. So I don't know if it did that so much. Um, I can't even remember how much these cost, but it reminds me a lot of one of my favorites by Prestige Beauty, and you can get that at Ulta, and it's a, it's a silicone-based one as well, but you get quite a bit more product than this, and I think it's about $10 for that one or something, but um, again, it lasts, that one lasted me a long time just because there was so much product, and a little bit does go a long way. I feel like this lasted a long time. Okay. Um, and then I also, this is a, this isn't beauty, I guess, but it's my last official empty. This little Curel sample, it is the Itch Defense Body Wash, um, for calming cleanser for dry, itchy skin. So it's a little mini travel size, um, body wash that was sent to me to sample, and it was nice. And I do, it doesn't really have much of a scent to it, I just dropped the cap, but, um, it was okay. I don't know, we have kind of hard water. And then it's winter-ish time here, so I do tend to get itchy, dry skin. So they also sent me a lotion to sample with that, so we'll see if that is any better. But to me, it was just okay. Um, I don't know if it did what it claims to do. Um, this is not necessarily an empty, but I'm getting rid of it. It is my e.l.f. Kabuki brush, which is so nice. I love these, and I've washed it. I washed all my brushes recently, but it's just, it is time for it to go, because even though I cleaned it, and I cleaned it, and I cleaned it, it's just, I've had it for a while. They're only $6, and they are really, really nice. They're good quality for 6 bucks. Now, I will say, I went and I picked out a new one, and it doesn't feel as, like, tight as this does, which is what I like, so I can kind of buff out my bronzer or powder or whatever. It feels a lot more loosey-goosey, so we'll see how it goes. I might need to, like, pick a different one or something, but I need to get rid of that one because it's old. And then, to go along with that, is my e.l.f. Uh, golden bronzer, this little quad, and it's so gross looking. But I've hit pan twice on it now, like a little bit there, and it's just the point where, like, I'm just not really getting a whole lot, and I've got so many other bronzers that I just want to kind of move on, so I love this bronzer. I really, really do. Sorry, I don't want to blind you. For only, I think it's like three bucks maybe or something. It's a really good bronzer, and I just, I apply it by like, I swirl all these colors together and just kind of go all over my face. It's got some shimmeriness to it, but not so much, and you could kind of go through um, and kind of just use one of the colors if you wanted. See, it's just, it's a light enough, subtle enough color, but it does give you just a nice glow. So I really like that, and I'll probably repurchase it, but I've got several others to use up. And then the last couple of things, bleh, um, are mascaras. Now, none of these are necessarily empty. There's some of them are just old, and some of them I just did not care for at all, what they did to my lashes. This I'm wearing right now, I put, I just tried a little bit right before I, started filming um, this video and I just don't like it. I got this to do my little $10 beauty challenge and I thought I would really like it because I like the Revlon photo ready kind of stuff, but I did not like it. It just, you can, and it's a nice little bristle, like our bristle, Um, it's a nice little wand, but I could just feel like how wet it is and you can feel like stuff flicking you. So it's just gotta go. And I think I only spent like $3 on it and it's a smaller size, so this needs to go. Um, these two are older and I also just don't care for what they do for my lashes. The first is the Rimmel Wonder Lash, um, mascara with argan oil. And I really actually quite like, um, Rimmel's stuff, but as you can see, it's just clumpy. It's so goopy and I just, just don't care for what it has done to my lashes. And this came out new last fall, I think, or something. And the other one is this, um, L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manja, um, which some people like. So it's a really flexible little wand. And this I don't hate. It's just I don't like the really clumpy looking nail. And some people do. And this is just old. It just needs to go. And then this is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. And again, it's just... I mostly like the packaging. It was very inexpensive. But it's just super, super goopy and clumpy. And it's this isn't even that old. But it just needs to go. So that is all my empties for... Probably the last, like, month, two months kind of thing, um, I guess I would say. 
um, probably at least two months, but it's hard for me to remember like when I use something up to like save it. And this little basket I think I showed you guys a while ago, but I got this at like the Target dollar spot in September or something like that. So um, it was the perfect size to kind of ho like hold all that kind of stuff. So I'm probably going to be doing a makeup purge kind of thing soon just because I don't have a ton of makeup oh my last empty I didn't show you guys was this this is urban it doesn't look empty because like I had I moved it and so it's all anyways it's urban decay's naked skin weightless ultra definition foundation and I'm in the shade see I'm gonna do it again three and a half but here you can kind of see it's down to like here or even a little bit less like you can not really get a lot out I've lost the cap I've had this for a long time and it kind of smells a little funky and I just need to get rid of it I love this foundation it is so nice it is a weightless full coverage kind of foundation it is really nice it's just, it's time. I just had it for a really long time and you should really go through and toss out makeup. And that's part of why I was thinking of my beauty purge. I'm going to need to go through and kind of purge out the stuff that I've ha just had for so long. Just because stuff, especially like mascara and things you put on your face, it's not good to keep it for a long time. Like you need to, you know, bacteria and stuff gets in it. You constantly like exposing it to air and then to your face and then back in. It just gets gross. Lipsticks, all that kind of stuff. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing is going through. And I kind of want to do it before Christmas. And that way, if I have any money for after Christmas and I go shopping, or if I get anything from my wish list, then I kind of already have some space for stuff. So I think that's something I'm going to be doing before Christmas. I want to get that filmed and up for you guys. So I'm not sure how yet I'm going to film it because I don't have, I just use my phone. I think I've told you guys before. So I don't have a good way to like, have a tripod and show you like what I'm looking at. So I'm going to have to like pull everything in here and go through everything or something. Um, but anyways, let me know in the comments below or like this video if you're interested in seeing that. And I will definitely try to get that up before Christmas is out. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys, I like watching empty videos because it's just a nice mini review of stuff. You know what I mean? Like it's a quick, like I use all these things up in a month. These are what I think. These are things that I use all the time. And, um, I just, I, I learn about new products that way as well. So anyways, that is all. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.